Those road crews have been out nonstop, but they're warning drivers of some dangerous conditions when we see the sun go down. Our Kylie Jones is joining us live with their progress and what they expect tonight. Kylie, how's it look? Well, Carol, definitely a lot of progress throughout the day. Road crews have been out here all day. Here's a look out at Point Set Highway. You can see pretty much entirely clear, although you can see a very wet road and some snow in the middle. Crews are now warning people all of that water, snow, slushy mix is likely going to leave a blanket of ice over the road in the morning. We have all 23 trucks out on the roads. All our crews are out there. Um, it's difficult. They're they're finding it to be difficult. Greenville County road crews working sun up to sun down on more than 1700 miles of county roads. A spokesman says mostly secondary or rural roads. Some of the roads are inaccessible until the weather stops. You know, you can't plow at night. You can't treat at night. And with the winds we were having yesterday, it made it difficult for crews to get out to do anything. So for many areas, we're starting from scratch here on Monday morning. Mahalik says a lot of county roads are also shaded from all of this sun. But if you're in a two wheel drive sedan, um, you have to be extra careful because especially when you're trying to cross over some of this rough stuff to say, say an intersection or something, you could easily get stuck. On the state roads, the SCDOT expects good progress Monday. Now we're starting to move over into the primary roads a little bit. Some of the crews are going that way. Those are the roads that connect with the interstates. But crews warn despite efforts to plow and salt, this slush you see will transform overnight. We expect black ice tonight and Tuesday morning urging people to still stay off the roads. We've had several ambulances get stuck throughout the day yesterday because it's very difficult conditions out there. And if our EMS crews and those vehicles are having a hard time getting around, imagine what it's going to be like for you. Again, crews will be out to do this all over again tomorrow morning. Greenville County officials do say that crews will be working through the night to make sure a lot of those essential buildings for first responders, law enforcement are accessible throughout the night into the morning. Live in Greenville County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.